Guys, something really weird's happening. Last week I was tan and from California, and this week I'm pale and from Canada, and I don't know what's going on. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name's Danica. I'm subbing in for Angelica this week. So, this week here on Fusion Kids is Opinion Week, and currently I'm at a sleepover with four other girls, and there's only one thing we can talk about. So, there's one thing we're gonna be giving our opinion on, and that is prom. Prom. So, prom is an event. People go with a date or without date. People who go without a date, sometimes I feel like they're kind of bummed out about it. I had never heard of prom proposals, and they make such a big deal of them. And it's not even a proposal, it's a prom proposal. It's a proposal for a one night event. And they plan them for like five months and ask like seven months in advance about going to one dance and I just don't understand the big fuss because what if one day along the road in those seven months before prom even though you've been asked seven months before prom you decide you don't want to go with that person that is just going to be really awkward. The whole thing about prom is that you get this elaborate promposal that people don't even put that much effort into like proposals. And then for proposals, you have horses like jumping from the sky. Prom written with an airplane. Holy cow, it's just a dance. But however, I think prom proposals are super cute. And um, that's my favorite part of prom is just throughout the year seeing people prom pose to each other just makes me die. I love it. Okay. Also, those dresses are so expensive. I could buy, I could buy. Probably about 250 pizzas with the price of a prom dress. Does it just happen in movies or in real life? Do the slow song just start to play when the guy and the girl meet and they look at each other and they're like, oh. But if that happens in real life, which I doubt it does, that must be really annoying because then all the other people around are like, I just want to dance and have fun. But that couple's like, oh, lovey dovey and everything. Actually, I don't, how much does a prom dress cost? I have no idea. Can you get really, actually, I Pretty sure you can get a prom dress for $250. So you can't buy 250 pizzas, but you can get pretty close. You can get 25 pizzas. And you just eat food. An event where you dance and eat food. GG, like, you got me. Whatever, I'm done. I'll go. It's however much you want, just take it, take it. Probably 25 pizzas for the cost of a prom dress. Like, I would love 25 pizzas when I could wear sweatpants and eat my 25 pizzas rather than wear a prom dress and then be so afraid of spilling stuff. So then there are those couples who are all lovey-dovey and in your face PDA and just kissing and kissing all the time and then they go to the after prom party and they're like, oh my goodness, we're gonna have sex or kiss or make out or whatever the heck you want to imagine or you don't need to imagine anything at all. That is perfectly fine too. So you can't eat 25 pizzas in the prom dress because your stomach's just gonna bigger and bigger and then your prom dress is gonna burst. I mean so embarrassing to be sitting at your table at prom eating your pizza. Actually I don't think they serve pizza at prom. Let's say they did. That would be the best prom ever. Why do they have pizza at prom? Then there's like those girls who are literally in the corner just like sucking face with their boyfriends and you're like why did you come to prom? You could have just stayed at home and done that. <laughs> and then you're sitting there at least I'm gonna be sitting there because I don't have a boyfriend and I'm gonna be like forever alone. But I love pizza. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Fusion Kids because it's a freaking awesome collab channel. Next week, Angelica will be back. Don't worry. Um, but until next time, see y'all later and stay classy too. Bye!